Hey lovelies, you're welcome back to Reviews and Recaps. Let's talk about Nell Fletcher being the op that we've always thought she was on this channel. Now, if you have a friend and you're out here talking about your friend like that, then you're not a friend. If you feel that way, you call your friend personally and speak to her about it. You don't go on a show and say that, in my opinion. We're going to get into it, but if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that bell button right next to it so you know every single time that I post. And everyone, please like, share, and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Now let's get into today's video. First of all, shout out to Life in Pink, who is the source of today's tea. So in the most recent episode that is going to be airing very soon, Nell is apparently going to drop a comment insinuating that Melody Cherie has gotten a big head from all the love and support she's getting from her fans. Apparently in the confessional, she basically says that Melody compared herself to Jesus and it's crazy that the fans have blown her head. My thing is, I feel like Nell does this. She throws subliminals and then she wonders why people come for her. Let's not forget... So now she's talking about Melody having a big head because of her friends, and I'll get into that in a second. But let's not forget, she also does say that Melody also is stubborn as Martel. Basically that she can't tell them anything. And I'm just like, okay, so you mean to tell me you feel that way about your friend to compare her to her alleged narcissistic abusive hus ex-husband? is crazy to me and so she seems you know the story you know both sides let's not forget the whole revenge piece situation where she was basically caping for black men when it had nothing to do with her if a black man did that to your daughter would you want the black man to go to jail or would you want the world to release him and say no we don't want no black men in jail so it's obvious there is some sort of underlying issue that she has with Melody that she's refusing to address. The thing about it is sometimes when you have a, an issue with somebody and you're not addressing it, it's undercover, it's sipping into your subconscious, it's eating at you, it's a bitterness that starts to brew or like a resentment or you start to spur like hate or jealousy towards this person. And I think that's where Nell is. Let's not forget, Nell is always hanging with the ops. She's always making sure, going out of her way to be friends with certain people. You know when you see people meet up, right? And it's organic. With Nell and the rest of the girls, it's never really been organic. It's felt like Nell was inserting herself into it. Nell is trying to be friends with these people at all costs. As opposed to these people organically kicking it and actually becoming cool. She's almost like water. Sometimes you don't know what direction it's going to be coming from and flowing through. That's what it feels like. It's like she's not stable one minute. She's like, oh defending melody the next minute she's not she's saying some dumb ish that she shouldn't be saying as a friend let's not forget that melody calls her and she calls melody on the phone to talk about private things so for you to then now come on the show to be saying some nonsense in your confessionals but then be acting like you're a real friend to her and then be upset when youtube streets are calling you out for being a bad friend is ridiculous to me now, I do think Nell's issue with calling her out when it comes to the support Melody gets from fans is they did not expect Melody to be a fan favorite. They probably were thinking no one would like her. People would think she's bougie. But then the opposite became the case. People absolutely were seeing it for Melody and loving her. And now she has the Melometers. The Melometers buy anything Melody puts out. The Melometers engage. They don't just, they show up and show out. I was on Dr. Shanida's um, Instagram today and I saw that people were apparently trolling her, calling her all types of names and stuff. And apparently the Melometers came together and gave a donation to help the orphans. And I'm like, this is the thing. When people are trying to spin a negative narrative, but then you see the Melometers coming together as a movement to help causes like that, to stand up for what is right. Like, why are you upset that you're not getting the support that you expected to get from the fans? 
the fans do not like people they cannot trust. Fans like to know that they can place you. Let's be clear, there are some people out here that don't like Melody and they like Destiny, for instance. The reason they feel like they like Destiny is they know Destiny is messy. Destiny does not act like she ain't messy. They know what Destiny stands for. She's pretty much clear about what she stands for. What they don't like are people they can't place. People like Tisha, for instance. One minute, she needs you. She's reaching out. She's nice to you. The next minute, she's calling you a dark soul. The next minute, she is teaming up with your op just because she cannot confront you because she knows you read her for filth. It's just like all that sort of negative behavior. And then let's not forget the whole season where they made it so much about millimeters, millimeters, millimeters. Have you ever heard of a fan base that got to the point where it is actually being talked about on the TV show? Like that is intense. That is a movement. And so I feel like these cast members just cannot stand it. Like if Nell just came out and was a good friend to Melody on the show, off the show, people will actually support her. The thing about the Melometers is Melometers be supporting people that support Mel. So if they feel like you ride for Mel, they will support you. Let's think about Sunny. Sunny, as much as people drag Sunny, a lot of Melometers are reaching and seeing it for Sunny because they feel like out of everyone, Sonny is still one of the people that stands up a little bit for what is right and was able to call Martel out and the whole revenge piece situation thing. So even if they may not like her, they at least have some respect for her. Now, people have lost respect for you because you're a flip-flopper. Every time you're in front of the girls, it almost feels like you want their validation. You want to be friends with them. You want to be the it girl. The problem with wanting to be friends with everyone is you misplace your priorities and you lose track of the friends that have been there for you. The friends that are actually friends to you. Instead, you're running around chasing new friends. If I were you now, I will reevaluate. Is this really what I want to come across as? A flip flopper who has no loyalty to my friend and clearly is jealous? Like, those would be the questions I would be asking. And before you say, what do you think she's jealous about? She, I personally believe that it is more jealousy about the love and fan base that Melody has. It seems to be what people are craving or desiring or envious of and cannot get. I actually wish that Nell came correct because then if Nell had come correct, I think that there are certain things that she brings to the show that people would have appreciated. But people don't appreciate a flip-flopper. We want to know who you are, so stand up. That's all I have to say. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, hit that subscribe button and tap that bell button so you know every single time that I post. Also, guys... Thank you. We're, we've hit 5,100 subscribers. You guys, like, I literally just hit 5,000 a couple of days ago. Maybe, like, two days ago? Or is it three? Maybe it's more than that now. I don't know. I think I finished August with 5,000 subscribers. And you guys are already showing now. It's, like, 5,100 and something. I'm, like, at this rate, I'm going to be hitting 7K or 10K before the end of this month. In Jesus' name. Okay? But, yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. I know I don't be on live but thank you guys for rocking with me i hope you guys continue to enjoy the content and if there are any shows you guys want me to cover let me know now i will be saying this i do want to cover the real housewives of dubai reunion um and i cannot wait to cover that well when it comes out i need it to come out asap like are you guys watching dubai let me know in the comment section below this whole craziness between ayan and lisa like uh, who are you in support of? I'll be honest. I feel like Ayan is lying. I feel like Ayan let the girls get into her head. And then she's now ended up in this situation. Ayan actually called Lisa a liar first. But it seems like people forgot. And I'm just like... And I also think Lisa is getting some bad edits. They really want to paint her out to be the villain. But it would be interesting to see how the reunion comes up. I hope she's able to speak her piece and it does not get edited. I need somebody to get an interview with Lisa Milan. I want to hear the tea, okay?
I would personally reach out to her, but I just think like I'm a faceless channel. I don't know if she's going to be on that. She probably wants to show her beautiful face. I don't know if I want to take this channel away from my face and or, you know, show my face one day. I don't know. I think I kind of, um, you know, in complete honesty, like I sometimes wonder about whether or not I want to show my face. On the one hand, I'm like, it would be nice for you guys to see me. On the other hand, I'm like, it, it feels like a lot of pressure as well. Like now I feel like I can just upload stuff and move on. It's fine. We're just having a key key. But then on the face, I just feel like I'm one of those girls that I feel like, you know, I got to be dressed to the nine. That's how I look every time I go out, you know. And so I don't want to make this channel like something that is more like much more difficult. And then that feels like work. Right. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Let's continue the conversation in the chat. I love you guys. Bye.